Som chuyện của chó. President, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The Supreme Court Chamber will now announce its ruling on the for the conduct of the proceedings in light of the events this morning. This morning, the greffier of the chamber noted that Mr. Victor Cooper, International Co-Counsel for Nguyen Chia, was not present in the courtroom. National Council for Nguyen Chia, Mr. Sun Arun, as well as Nguyen Chia himself, indicated that Nguyen Chia wished to address the chamber directly, including to explain Mr. Koppa's absence. Nguyen Chia was granted leave to address the chamber in person. In the course of his address, he stated the following. He was dissatisfied with the conduct of the proceedings including the decision of the Supreme Court chamber not to call additional witnesses. He does not withdraw his appeal. He had instructed Mr. Cooper not to be present this morning. He wanted to leave the courtroom following his address, and he also instructed Mr. Sun Arun to do the same. Following Nguyen Chia's address, Après the Supreme Court Chamber ruled that it is not for the accused to decide whether or not to be present in the courtroom. He has not only the right to be present, but also the obligation to be present subject to the leave of the chamber. Mr. Sun Aron is required to be present in the courtroom even if he does not wish to make submissions on the case and if he chooses, chooses to absent himself, he will be held in contempt. The chamber subsequently granted Nguyen Chia's request to follow the hearing from the holding cell based on a medical certificate presented by Nguyen Chia. The chamber then read out the co-reporter's report on the first section of the hearing and adjourned the hearing for a break of 20 minutes. Upon resumption of the hearing, the chamber noted that neither national nor international co-counsel for Nguyen Chia was present in the courtroom, despite the chamber's reminding national counsel of his obligation to remain in attendance. The chamber gave the parties present in the courtroom an opportunity to make submissions as to how to proceed. The international co-prosecutor submitted that Nguyen Chia clearly had waived his right to be represented by counsel and that the hearing should therefore continue as scheduled. Counsel for Kyu Sumpon did not make any further submissions. The International Civil Party lead co-lawyer submitted that the most important matter was the presence of the accused who was following the proceedings from the holding cell. Following deliberation, the chamber has decided as follows. Article 301 of the Cambodian Code of Criminal Procedure provides that in cases involving a felony, the assistance of counsel is mandatory. Moreover, Internal Rule 81.7 in the relevant part reads as follows. Where no lawyer of the accused is present without justification during the hearing, the chamber may either adjourn the hearing or, if the accused requests assistance of a lawyer, request the defense support section to temporarily assign him or her a lawyer from the list 
sur les mentioned at Rule 11. In the view of the Supreme Court Chamber, these provisions indicate that the presence suprême, of the counsel is mandatory at any stage of the proceedings. The appeal hearings are the last opportunity for an appellant to present his or her submissions. In the present case, they are scheduled jewel over a period of three days, and they will touch upon complex matters of fact and law. Unforeseen issues uh, may arise upon which the interest of, of the accused person may require making submissions. And having the counsel present is essential for the interest of justice. Therefore, this requirement cannot be waived by the accused person. The Chamber considers uh, that the conduct of international and national counsel for Nuanjia may well constitute a misconduct that could give rise to disciplinary sanctions. It will take its decisions in this regard in due course. As concerns the further conduct of the appeal hearing in these circumstances, in light of the applicable legal framework and in order to ensure the proper representation of the accused person during the appeal hearings, the Supreme Court Chamber decides to adjourn the appeal hearing and instruct the Defense Support Section to appoint standby counsel for Nguyen and to report to the chamber on the appointment as soon as possible. A new scheduling order will be issued in due course. The court is now adjourned.